is real the spiritual warfare is where real and um it just didn't work out i recorded but it didn't work out um so technical difficulties and then tonight now this video right here is actually my like 10th try i've had my daughter walk in i've had the ac turn on i've heard the hondas outside so it's just been a mess it's been a mess all the technical difficulties with the phone as well but God is good all the time and all the time God is good and he always 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 deserves our praise and he always deserves our obedience I've been feeling a tug in my spirit tonight to record somebody needs this and I'm going to be obedient to God no matter what time I go to bed Lord knows I need sleep so this prayer is not only for you but this prayer is also for me because I need the strength so if you can pray for your sister right here, I would greatly appreciate it. Also, just a reminder, I am praying for each and every viewer and listener every single week aside from these videos as well. So feel free to leave me any prayer petitions, any prayer, prayer petitions down in the box, in the comment box, okay? So let's go ahead and pray. Heavenly Father, we come before your presence we give you honor we give you glory and we thank you for the opportunity that you've given us lord we thank you for the opportunity that you've given us lord to be before you on tonight lord we present to you every viewer we present to you every viewer every viewer every listener every listener father god every person on this video and god we ask you father god that from my mouth to their ears from your mouth to my mouth to their ears, Lord, that you do something in them, you do something new in them, Lord, I present to you every person who is struggling right now, every person who is battling a secret battle, every person battling depression, every person battling anxiety and fear and everything that does not belong to them, Lord, Lord, we declare that as your Holy Spirit is dwelling upon them, that your Holy Spirit be to block, 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 block everything, 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 everything that is not like you in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, we declare that there will be a shift in their mind, a shift in their spirit. Lord, we declare that we will not just be hearers, hearers of your word, but we will be doers, doers, doers of your word. Lord, give us the strength that we need. Give us the strength that we need to move on. Give us the strength are ready to throw in the towel some of us are ready to give up but lord we declare that after tonight that after this video someone is going to find themselves encouraged someone is going to find themselves with strength someone is going to find themselves with a breakthrough someone is going to find themselves with a miracle that only comes from you because i am just the vessel i am just the messenger lord we thank you for what you're doing in this hour lord we present to you this channel we ask you lord that it will touch it will touch not just one not just two but it will touch the multitude lord we ask you father god that these videos will be a blessing will be a blessing to people even for those who do not believe in you father god and are still coming onto this channel lord we declare that a seed is being implanted in every listener father god in every listener and we declare father god that your word your word your powerful word will be shared with the world will be shared with the world lord allow this video to edify spirit allow this video to edify someone and we'll be careful to give you all the glory all the glory all the glory in jesus mighty name so we're gonna be reading romans 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 <clears throat> 
this, they are gossips, slanders, haters of God, insolent, haughty, boastful, inventors of evil, disobedient to parents, foolish, faithless, heartless, ruthless, though they know God's righteous decree that those who practice such things deserve to die, they not only do them, but they give approval, approval to those who practice it. And I just want to read a commentary here because I do have a study Bible and it says, did you know God's judgment? Humanity's rejection of God is the root of all that is wrong with the world. Since Adam and Eve, everyone has responded to God's love by doing things he hates. Everyone deserves punishment, but God offers forgiveness through Christ Jesus. Romans chapter 2 Therefore, you have no excuse, O man, every one of you who judges. For in passing judgment on another, you condemn yourself. Because you, the judge, practice the very same things. We know that the judgment of God rightly falls on those who practice such things. Do you suppose, O man, you who judge those who practice such things and yet do them yourself, that you will escape and judgment the judgment of God? Or do you presume on the riches of his kindness, that God's kindness and patience, not knowing that God's kindness is meant to lead you to repentance? God's kindness is meant to lead you to repentance. But because of your heart and infinite heart, you are storing. You are storing up wrath for yourself on the day of wrath when God's righteousness judgment will be revealed. He will render to each other, to, to each one according to his works, to those who by patience and well-doing seek for glory and honor and immorality. He will give eternal life, but for those who are self-seeking and do not obey the truth, but obey unrighteousness, there will be wrath and fury. There will be tribulation and distress for every human being who does evil. The Jew first and also the Greek put glory and honor, peace for everyone who does good the Jew first and also the Greek for God shows no partially in another version also said for God shows no favoritism for all who have sinned without the law will also perish without the law and all who have sinned under the law will be judged by the law for it is not the hearers of the law who are righteous before God it's not the hearers of the law who are righteous before God, but the doers of the law who will be justified. For when Gentiles who do not have the law by nature do what the law requires, they are law to themselves even though they do not have the law. They show that the work of the law is written on their hearts while their conscience also bears witness and their conflicting thoughts accuse or even excuse them on the day when according to my gospel God judges the secrets of men by Christ Jesus but if you call yourself a Jew and rely on the law and boast in God and know his will and approve what is excellent because you are instructed from the law and if you are sure that you yourself are a guide to the blind a light to those who are in darkness an instructor of the foolish a teacher of children having in the law the embodiment of knowledge and truth you then who teach others do not teach yourself while you preach against stealing do you steal you who say that one must not commit adultery do you commit adultery you who abhor idols do you rob temples you who boast in the law dishonor God by breaking the law for as it is 
concerning the promise of God, but he grew strong in his faith and he gave glory to God, fully convinced that God was able to do what he had promised. That is why his faith was counted to him as righteousness, but the words it was counted to him were not written for his sake alone, but for ours as also. It will be counted to us who believe in him, who raised from the dead Jesus our Lord, who has delivered up from our trespasses and raised for our justification, for our justification. And there's a little side note here that says, did you know? Transgression means to disobey a specific command from God. It could refer to a violation of a command in the written law of God or to a verbal command from God, as in the case of Abraham. Those who trust in Christ have peace with God. God declares them forgiven. They stand securely in God's grace and salvation rather than his judgment. Heavenly Father, we just come before your presence. Thank you, Father God, for this opportunity. We've read your word. Lord, we declare that people's spirits will be edified. Cover, protect. Lord, cover and protect. Father God, release any stress, any negativity. And 